What's going on you guys? It's Lancer again, back with another video. And today I'm gonna to be doing my 2022 shoe collection. And um, to get some of the shoes out of the way, um, I guess I'm gonna first go over the basketball and then I'm gonna do casual, meaning like nothing that I would wear like too extreme. I don't know how to explain it. Something I wouldn't like run or all, like I just wear just to walk around, stuff like that. But anyway, Knock these first two out. Here are the beaters. I wear these like every day just because, I mean, I don't really care about them. You know, they're nothing special. It's just a Nike shoe. And then these are just the shoes I use to work out in, which actually I recommend. They're pretty nice and comfortable. They're light too. I use them to run. So yeah, I'm getting those out of the way. And so, yeah, I'm going to start with basketball and then just do the rest. Starting off the first, and I think a lot of you guys have seen them before because from my previous one, but it's the Paul George line, and holy cow, I didn't know I had this many. But we're gonna go with the first ones, the PG twos. Um, yeah, you guys have already I've already talked about these before. This is the basketball shoe I wore in high school, basically. They're really comfortable though, one of my favorites of his line. And then the next ones are my favorite Paul Georges that he has are the astronaut ones, or the NASA ones, the NASA collabs, the blue and orange. I like this one a lot more than this one, but yeah, I use these in this match, so yeah, that's those. And then I got PG4s, I got this black pair that I kind of used to beat around a lot when I go play basketball. I can honestly use these outdoor. But anyway, on to the next one is the Gatorade colorway. You guys have seen these in my last video too. And then also the Christmas ones. And I don't remember if I had them or not in that video. But yeah, these are Christmas ones. And then the PG5 is the here's a black pair. And I got a green pair. And I think you guys have already seen these. But I'm just showing you again just in case. I want to go to that other video. Green pair. And then the one that's new is this PlayStation collab. He actually did PlayStation collabs on his twos. But I never got them because... I never had the money for that, but I got these ones because I thought they were cool too. I like the blue and the white. Like, I just like this color blocking a lot on these. I also got the PlayStation 5 right there, which is kind of funny. But anyway, yeah, that's the Paul George line. One of my favorite basketball lines, of course, and it's very affordable too. So yeah, I recommend the PG line. All right, next, the next line I'm going to do is the Curry line. And if you guys have seen these, I'm, it, there's only like one new pair, but I'm going to show you the... One just for a refresher, uh, I have three of these. This is the Butterflow ones. And then I have the All-Star ones, which I hardly rear because of how white it is. I don't want to get dirty. And then my favorite ones is his birthday colorway. I never want, I always wanted like a birthday themed shoe. I always wear these on my birthday, but not, nothing. I never wear anything else on my birthday for basketball besides those. And then the most recent one is the Curry 9, which I love this colorway. I like the uh, blue that they use. It's like a blue with like, it's like a grayish blue. I don't even know. It's got that pink hints to it too. I just love this colorway a lot. And I, it's really comfortable too. This is more comfortable than the Curry 8s because of the tongue. And then I don't have the alphabet uh, Giannis is anymore, but I still do have the all-star Giannis. I'm going to pair them with Curry's just because this is the only pair I have of Giannis's. All right, so the next line that we're going to do is KD's line, and that's one of my favorite Nike lines um, out of, like, all of the basketball shoes that I have. And so the first one is, oh, well, out of order, is the KD8 Ant Pearl. I love this uh, colorway. I like the pink a lot on it. I have two of the pair, two colorways of these, not of that shoe. And then my, also another cool one is the KD10 Finals MVPs, which you guys saw in my last video. And then I have the KD11s. And these are kind of shoes that are kind of older than the other ones. I, I played those a lot in high school. And I got two KD12s, the U2 ones, which how ironic, <laughs> but the next ones is the another Ant Pearl, the pink ones, and it's the what the colorway. It's got like all the KD Ant Pearls. The next line we got is the goats, which is LeBron James, 
and you guys probably will hate me for that, but he is the GOAT. I'm sorry. But next, I'm going to do, where is his first shoe? I'm going to go with the eight, LeBron 8, which I don't know if these were in my last video. But yeah, it's the LeBron 8 Miami Knights Lowe's. I love playing in the Lowe's. That's why I kind of like to play in a lot. And some of, my, some of his are uh, high tops, but I still play in them just because I feel like I'm LeBron James when I'm playing in them. Uh, here's the LeBron 8 Low. And I got a LeBron High Toon Squad ones. Superstar. <laughs> Superstar ones. Toon Squad. Which I like this colorway a lot. I like how it's just all black, so it's hard to get, won't get dirty as often. And then I have LeBron Nines, which are really new. I have his, one of his most iconic ones, uh, Big Bangs, that he wore in the All Star game in 2011. I think he won MVP. No, Kobe did. Kobe won MVP, but LeBron had one of the most iconic. Oh, wait, no. LeBron did win MVP in these, actually, I think. Maybe he did. Look up the 2012 All Star. MVP and let me know down below because I don't remember and then the next one is the LeBron 9 watch the thrones which is a Jay-Z Kanye collab well inspired actually and these actually never came out to the public and then they just retroed these in 2021 for everyone to get and same for these LeBron 9 low LeBron old Palmers which are my favorite LeBrons in my collection I just love the look of these I like how they play, and I like how they're lows also, so I don't have to wear like high socks when I'm playing in these, so yeah, that's LeBron 9, LeBron and Palmers, and these were also hard to get, actually, they are to LeBron only, I'm pretty sure, it was a player exclusive, and then they released all these to the public, and then the rest are shoes that you guys have seen, but we're going to go with LeBron 16s, um, these are shoes I loved playing in for my high school years a lot, and that's the LeBron 16s, and the LeBron 18 low, the Daughters colorway, which I don't know why I bought these, to be honest. But it's not a bad color, I, I guess. They're cool. They're decent. I know the cameraman loves those shoes, but I'm not a fan. Same with the LeBron 18s. I kind of wish I never bought the LeBron 18 highs. I barely play in these, but it's another shoe that I... Oh, and then also the last pair was a Christmas colorway. I didn't want a LeBron Christmas colorway just because he usually drops a colorway every year on Christmas with his shoe. That's what Nike does, but they didn't really do it the last two ones, I don't think. I don't remember, though. But I like this shoe I like this shoe a lot and the colorway with it. That's why I bought it. And, yeah, I think that's all the LeBrons. And the final basketball section. Kobe Bryant. R.I.P. Mamba. We're going to do his shoes now. The last pair. Actually, these are my favorite pairs uh, of shoes to ever play basketball in. Just because they're all low top. Traction's amazing. And I actually played in those, like, the other. I don't even have them anymore. But I used to play in Kobe's literally every day, outside and inside. So going off with the first two. They're messed up right now. But it's the Kobe 7. And this is the... Uh, I don't even remember what these are called. They're all the elites. They're the elite away colorways. Um, I think I already talked about these in my old video though. So I'm not going to go too far in depth. But I need to redo the gold swoosh on these. Just so I can wear them. I'm, I don't play basketball on these anymore though. Just because of that. So these are kind of casual. But I had to put them in my Kobe section. And same with these. It's the Kobe 9 Moonwalkers. Again, the soles are tearing off, so I'm waiting to try and fix them again. And I'm going to start wearing them as just casual because I love this color a lot. Just the all purple with the shiny swoosh is just an awesome colorway for the Kobe 9. Which I wish I could play in those though because that's the best traction ever. Alright, so now we're going to go on the shoes that I play in, which is the Kobe 4. This is the only Kobe 4 I own. And yeah, I think I went over this in my last video. I keep saying that, but... I can't remember which Kobe's I had and which ones I didn't. I think these are all in the video. So I'll kind of go fast. But the next ones are Kobe 5's. I have both of the pairs just because that's what it looks like. With one side and then the other side. Like that, which is the OG side from the original pair. Where it didn't have this graffiti when they first dropped. It was just all white with the gold swoosh. Back in 2010. Because that's when he was in the cha playoffs championship game and won. Next is the parade shoe. After he won for five rings, 
the Kobe 5. And I love this Kobe a lot. I play in this a lot. Just because the, the colorway, it's all it's just the Laker colorway. So it's a perfect Kobe shoe. And then the next one is another Kobe 5, which is his Hall of Fame shoe. And I brought both of them just because that's what the swoosh looks like on this side. Um, on the court and then the other side, it's all purple and gold. Kind of another Laker colorway, but it's like a snakeskin scale, which is really cool. And then three Kobe 6s, all three besides the Mamba Citas, which I wish I had, but they're just too much money and I probably would never play in them if I got them. So I just don't want to do that. But here's the Kobe 6, the playoff edition ones, where he got swept by them. Oh, actually, he didn't get swept by the Mavericks. They lost to the Mavericks in the first round. Here's his all-star ones. This is my favorite Kobe 6 I have. I love the color red, so that's why it's my favorite. And then the best Kobe 6, though, like to, for everyone's opinion, they'll say, the most iconic is the Kobe 6 Grinch, which it is probably the most iconic one just because it was the big thing for Christmas. So, yeah, that's my uh, Kobe collection. And then here's a last pair of Kobe's I actually almost forgot to mention. Uh, these are our custom-made Kobe 2K4 Hirachis, I think. Yep, and that's what they are. They're custom-made, which is really cool. Got it from a dude. I know, from I just met at a gym. He basically gifted them to me, in a sense, kind of. And then, so here's the other one. Kind of cool. If you guys want me to go into detail with these, I can do a video on these. Just because I'm kind of in a hurry with showing you guys every shoe. So, yeah. All right, so that was all my basketball shoes. Now we're on to my casual shoes, and I'm gonna start with my Adidas. I only have six pairs of Adidas shoes, so I guess I say only, but it's kind of a lot. Um, so we're going to the Ultra Boost first, which I have an all black pair. It's kind of a beater, just because I know they just can't get dirty very often. So I kind of wear these a decent amount. Then my next pair, I, I don't think, I, I think I've only worn these like a total of I think three times just because they're all white but I have never I haven't worn these in a while but they're really comfortable I think I'm gonna start wearing them more actually now just because of how comfortable this shoe is like I like that one more than this one just because of the knitting as you can see kind of just this is softer and this is like it's more hard stiff oh it's kind of sus but anyway <laughs> last pair is the Patrick Mahomes colorway, which is my favorite uh, Ultra Bruce colorway, obviously, that I own. Just because he's our quarterback, KC. Shout out to the Chiefs, baby. All right, my next line of Adidas is Yeezys. And it's Kanye West's line, if you don't know what that is, but I'm sure you guys know. Anyway, so the next for the first pair of Yeezys is this pink colorway. It's a reflective colorway, too. So, like, when you shine a light, which I don't know if it's going to. I kind of reflect. I, well, when you take like a picture, um, flashing it, it's it's very shiny and bright, just reflecting off of that. The next Yeezy is the Oreos. I think that's what they're called. I can't really remember, but this is I love this. I love this a lot because you can match with the, like anything, just because it's just a black and white shoe. And then my last pair was was my first Yeezy I ever bought, which was the Mono Ices. I think you guys may have, might have saw this in my last video. If not, well, I have three pairs of Yeezys now, if you guys didn't know that. Because I know these I bought re like pretty recently. So yeah, that's all my Adidas shoes. Now we are on to my last category, which is the Nike Casuals, and we'll go with the Vapormaxes first. I think you guys have seen these before already, but I want to go over it again. The white and black Vapormaxes, this was my first pair I ever bought. Actually, this is like my first casual shoe I ever bought. And this is kind of what made me start, actually, which is kind of weird. I don't think I said that in my last video. And then the next pair I got was the USA ones. I don't know why I bought these, honestly. I kind of regret buying these because I can't match it with much. I have, like, two USA shirts, but that's it. And then my last pair, it's just an all-black pair just to wear with anything. It's the Vapormax 2020s. And this actually got no laces, so it's got a good lacing system. And the next section is... Uh, this is another two set. This is just an Air Max 270 right here, which is just a It's a clean colorway. It's got red like I said earlier. It's one of my favorite colors So that's why I bought this pair and I'm gonna just kind of 
go into the last section, which is dunks and actually I lied. Not just dunks. I got another Air Max 95 right here. Uh, the LeBron collab. It's got LeBron's logo, which is really cool, but they're not basketball shoes. They're just casual wear. I really like these a lot. It matches with a lot of my fits with because I got a lot of Lakers stuff. So that's the LeBron Air Max 95s. And then so now I'll go on to dunks. Starting with the first pair, I have the 75th anniversary Chicago colorway. I bought these because it's a cheap Chicago colorway. And a lot of the Chicago colorways, like with the Jordans and the other dunks, um, they're really expensive with this. I recommend you guys buy now because it could go up in price later on. So yeah, that's the Chicago 75th anniversary colorway. My next pair is the Union LA Dunks which is another kind of Laker themed because of my fits, like I said earlier, which this is one of my favorites, just cause I like the all white and just the design they did with this shoe. This thing is just really cool. Gives me off white vibes on how they did it. So yeah, that's the union of LA Dunks Passport. And then please do not question my shoe collection. I'm going to be honest with this one. If you guys thought I would have these, these are fake, <laughs> but I promise you that my shoe collection is real. Besides these, I'm going to be honest with you on these. These are fake. You can tell actually, because the lines up here, I was actually at a shoe store today. I saw these lines up here are a little too far up. I guess I can kind of give you authenticated, but based off of the, also how they put Nike, there's kind of a subtle dip, like a subtle dip, but a, just a kind of a slight difference. I meant to say. Right there, and then also the toe box. You kind of see, it's kind of hard to see, but that is how scary fakes are. Like, no one ever questions me with these. I don't mind if you just buy them to wear, but if you're selling these, like to resell, that is not okay, because that's kind of messed up if you're reselling these to profit off of some other people, like off of others that are spending two grand for fakes and they could buy them for 160. But yeah, these are Travis. I just like Travis Scott. I mean, as you can see, I got the damn jersey on and everything but yeah this is like one of my favorite shoes that i wish i could own that is real but no i just bought a fake pair of these so yeah, that is the dunks and i did lie because i do have his air max 270s right here these are real i'm not gonna go over that but these are real travis scott 270s right here and then on to the jordans which is the last section i don't think these were in any of my uh last shoe collections either were those dunks but going off with the first pair is the jordan 4 reverse oreos right here then my i kind of got screwed over too because this netting's coming off there but you never notice it but i got screwed over there when i bought them because i opened the box i was like dang it's just i really I said they were new anyway here's the next pair is the red thunder jordans uh thunder reds i can't believe i don't know i know these are a retro Kind of in a sense, because there's actually yellow thunders. Or anyway, the red parts on this shoe is yellow, and they came out in like 2007, and this is kind of like a different version, but just red. Which I bought them because my favorite color. This is another Jordan Four. Then going to the Jordan Elevens, I got the Concord Breads, which I think was in my last. These were my first Jordans I ever bought, so it kind of made me more of a Jordan guy. <laughs> After that first purchase, then I got the UNC 11s right here. I like this colorway a lot too. I wear them with the Lakers City Edition. And my last three pairs, I never had in my other videos, I know for a fact, but these are some of my favorite shoes because Travis Scott. This is the Jordan 6 British khaki colorway. And actually what's cool about these is they glow in the dark on certain spots of the shoe. This shoe has a lot of detail in it too. If you want me to do an overview on this, I can. Another video. That's the British khaki Travis Scott sixes. The next ones are the Jordan four Travis Scotts. And these are like my favorite Travis Scotts I own just because of the colorway. And it's Houston themed. So it just, it's just a perfect colorway. Houston is actually my second team. I can't really be a bandwagon when there's no team in Kansas also. But yeah, this is just like, I love this color a lot. And just the blue splatters right here. I actually got screwed over because I tried to buy a pair for like 500. And then they were actually fake. 
So I was like, shoot, well, I'm not gonna. So I got, I did get refunded. I was one of those guys that got screwed over and then I actually ended up buying these off of GOAT. Yeah, the Travis Scott 4s, this is where his first store to collab too. And the last but not least, Travis Scott, Air Jordan 1, Low, Bragments, which this shoe is awesome too. This shoe is like probably the best shoe in my collection, but it's not my favorite. Just because Jordan 1's crease too, man. Kind of bothers me, but it is what it is with shoes. But yeah, that is the Travis Scott. And that is actually it with my shoe collection. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a comment down below. What's your favorite pair out of my collection? Sorry I had to make it kind of fast. It might still be a long video. But if you ever want me to do like an overview on shoes, I can. In the next following videos, whenever I post next. Uh, should be posting again soon, hopefully. Like this video. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.